I was injured uh, when I was 18 years old, uh, subsequent to a gunshot wound. Initially, they didn't tell me I was paralyzed. So they would say, move your fingers, and move your feet, and move your toes. And in my mind, I was moving everything. I said, okay, well, I'm moving them, now what? And they're like, you are. And I didn't know that they were trying to, that I was paralyzed. I couldn't visualize at the time uh, any way possible to live a, a mainstream life. And so to me, I was just pretty much done if I was going to stay like that. I thought, and for the first couple of years, I did, when I, even when I got home, my, my lifestyle consisted of staying in bed and watching I Love Lucy reruns. What started to change for me was I finally, um, one afternoon, I just got bored. And I had these mouth sticks that I had received through the local rehab facility, Rancho Los Amigos. I had my mom set up a makeshift diesel, and, and I started doodling um, with a ballpoint pen. One of the artists in the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists is really local. And he got my number, and he really took it upon himself to kind of inspire me and tell me all about the association. And he told me that they don't just accept anybody in the association based on the fact that you do it with your mouth or with your foot. He said people get rejected. You have to apply with some with a body of work. So when I heard that, I said, "Well, I'm going to try to apply and see if that'll be one of my goals. That's something that I can that I can work my way towards." So that's when I, I really came out of it. It was about two to three years after my injury. If I can feel this good, you know, this emotional about something, then I can enjoy life because uh, it, you don't need to be able to move to enjoy life. <laughs>